ABS-CBN News, formerly ABS-CBN News and Public Affairs and ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs, is the news division of Philippine media conglomerate ABS-CBN. The organization is responsible for the daily news and information gathering of its news programs. It serves the main ABS-CBN, the Regional Network Group, the UHF Sports Channel S Plus A, the cable channels ABS-CBN News Channel and DZMM Teleradio, the flagship radio station DZMM and the regional radio networks DYAP 765 Palawan, DYAB 1512 Cebu and DXAB 1296 Davao and news websites news.abs-cbn.com and patrol.ph. History News Division The oldest of the two components, the News Division began as the news section of two radio stations, DZBC, opened 1949, and DZAQ, opened 1950, both in the Manila area, and DZRI, opened 1951, in Pangasinan, all under the Balinao Electronics Corporation and later under the Alto Broadcasting System, which broadcast news programs and commentary as part of their programming schedules. In 1956, the Chronicle Broadcasting Network, together with the first news broadcasts on DZXL, started the short-lived 24-hour station DZQL Radio Reloy broadcasting news and current affairs until late 1959. When the two networks merged in 1957, first as part of Belinao Electronics Corporation and later on in 1961 adopting the ABS-CBN brand, which it changed its corporate name to ABS-CBN Broadcasting Corporation in 1967, the news services of these four Manila stations, later reduced to three, were combined into a unified news service but then with separate programs, as the network began expanding with the purchase and later opening of additional stations, first in the Ilocos region and the Cordillera, and then into the Visayas Islands, Mindanao, and southern parts of Luzon, with the National Radio Service broadcasting from the Chronicle Building along Aduana Street, Intramuros, Manila, which began broadcasting the two Manila stations in 1958. Alongside them was a small television news service on DZAQ TV 3 and DZXL TV 9 with updates broadcast daily. Owing to the lack of proper news programs from the beginning of broadcasts in late 1953, with both stations' news bureaus based in the television studios in Roxas Boulevard, Pasay City, opened in 1958. Proper news programming on TV, however, would begin in 1960 when news coverages for the national elections began, followed by the first Filipino-language TV newscast, Balita Nagayon, in 1966 on Channel 3 and in the following year with the English-language newscast The World Tonight on Late Nights, which is today the longest-running English-language national newscast. Channel 9 followed suit with the long-running newsbreak as well. By 1968, following the aftermath of the magnitude 7.6 earthquake in Casiguran, in which Manila was severely affected by the quake, leading to the collapse of the Ruby Tower in August that same year, the joint radio and color television coverage of which was the first time ever for a Philippine media company to do so, DZAQ was later converted into a 24-hour Filipino-language news and current affairs radio station, adopting the DZAQ Radio Patrol 960 branding under the initiative of former station manager Orly Mercado, veteran broadcaster Joe Tarek, Ben Anisato, the then ABS-CBN program director and chief engineer. Emil Solidum, whose efforts led to the recruitment of the first generation of mobile field reporters for news coverages and flash reports, a first for any radio station at that time. Current Affairs Division Divisions the division operates mainly and headquartered at ABS-CBN Broadcast Complex in Quezon City while the ABS-CBN regional stations also have their local news divisions, which is a big help in newsgathering for the whole network. It also has a news bureaus in North America, Europe, Asia Pacific and the Middle East with the help of the Filipino Channel, owned by ABS-CBN Global, Limited. These make ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs ahead among the other news organizations in the country as they were the largest and the most comprehensive when it comes to local and international news gathering. The division is currently headed by longtime journalist and former ABS-CBN's North America Bureau Chief, and now ABS-CBN's Senior Vice President for News and Current Affairs Jing Reyes. 
It is further subdivided into different subgroups. Integrated News Operations Group, headed by veteran ABS CBN journalist and former DZMM Radio Patrol Say Trenta reporter, Claude Vidug. News Gathering Group, headed by veteran ABS CBN journalist, former DZMM Radio Patrol Say Trenta reporter, and former Middle East News Bureau Chief, Dindo Amparo. Current Affairs Group, headed by experienced News Department staff, Donnie Ocampo. News Production Group, headed by core executive producer for some ABS-CBN's public affairs programs, Cheryl Favila. Investigative and Research Group, headed by experienced News Department staff and former reporter for Manila Standard Today, Kai Almario Gonzalez. ABS-CBN News Channel, headed by its Chief Operating Officer, Salette Libero Co. Regional Network Group News and Current Affairs, headed by television journalist and former head of news for ABS-CBN Iloilo, Stanley Palisada. ABS-CBN Weather Center is the weather forecasting division of ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs. DZMM Radio Patrol Se Trenta, ABS-CBN's flagship AM radio station headed by station manager, Mara Fanner Capuyan. DZMM Teleradio, ABS-CBN's flagship AM radio station on television headed by station manager, Mara Fanner Capuyan. DocuCentral is the producer of highly acclaimed documentaries that shown on ABS-CBN's platforms. Aside from regular programming, it also operates the ABS-CBN News Channel, the first and the only 24-hour English-language news service in the country. The division also operates a news website abs-cbnews.com in partnership with Business Mirror. Programs Current programs on ABS-CBN Current programs on ABS-CBN News Channel Current programs on S plus A the score. Current programs on the Filipino channel. Adobo Nation. Balatang America. Balatang Global. Citizen Pinoy. Quentin Disierto. Current programs on ABS CBN Regional. Regional newscasts Luzon TV Patrol Bicol, ABS CBN TV 11 Naga TV Patrol North Luzon, ABS CBN TV 2 Isabella, ABS CBN TV 7 Lawag, ABS CBN TV 3 Baguio, and ABS CBN TV 32 Dagupan. TV Patrol Palawan, ABS CBN TV 7 Palawan, TV Patrol Southern Tagalog, ABS CBN TV 10 Batangas, Visayas, TV Patrol Central Visayas, ABS CBN TV 3 Cebu, TV Patrol Eastern Visayas, ABS CBN TV 2 Tacloban. TV Patrol Negros, ABS CBN TV 4 Bacolod, TV Patrol Panay, ABS CBN TV 10 Iloilo, Mindanao, TV Patrol Chavacano, ABS CBN TV 3 Zamboanga, TV Patrol North Mindanao, ABS CBN TV 2 Cagayan de Oro, and ABS CBN TV 11 Butuan. TV Patrol South Central Mindanao, ABS CBN TV 3 General Santos and ABS CBN TV 5 Cotabato. TV Patrol Southern Mindanao, ABS CBN TV 4 Davao. Regional News Bulletins News Patrol Central Visayas, ABS CBN TV 3 Cebu. News Patrol Davao, ABS CBN TV 4 Davao. 
News Patrol Kapampangan, AB CBN TV 46 Pampanga. News Patrol South Central Mindanao, AB CBN 3 General Santos and AB CBN 5 Cotabato. Other regional programs. Bagong Morning Kapamilya, AB CBN TV 2 Isabella, AB CBN TV 7 Lawag, AB CBN TV 3 Baguio and AB CBN TV 32 Dagupan. Mayong Buntag Kapamilya, AB CBN TV 3 Cebu. Mayong Buntag Kapamilya Sabado. Mayong Buntag Mindanao, AB CBN TV 4 Davao. Mayong Buntag Mindanao Sabado Magangdang Umaga South Central Mindanao AB CBN TV 3 General Santos Marhe na Aga Kapamilya AB CBN TV 11 Naga Pamaha Especial AB CBN TV 2 Cagayan de Oro Panay Sikat AB CBN TV 10 Iloilo the Morning Show, AB CBN TV 4 Bacolod. Defunct programs I Patrol Mo. AB CBN News launched its own citizen journalism campaign during its coverage of the 2007 Philippine general elections. Initially entitled Boto Mo, I Patrol Mo, Tagalog for Your Vote, You Patrol, it reflects upon the station's flagship newscast, TV Patrol. The campaign is now called Bayan Mo, I Patrol Mo, Your Town, You Patrol, and is often abbreviated as BMPM. An extension of the campaign BMPM, Ako Ang Simula, I Am the Beginning, was launched on May 11, 2009 and was its banner for the network's coverage of the 2010 presidential elections. A relaunch of the campaign was carried out in June 2009 by the network as part of its commemoration of Philippine Independence Day. For 2013, the campaign evolves to BMPM, Teo Na, Tagalog for Let's Go, as its citizen journalism arm for the network's coverage of the 2013 elections. This campaign was kicked off last June 12, 2012. What once started out as an arm that is mainly dependent on using SMS and MMS technologies, BMPM has provided more venues for patrollers, people who submit reports to BMPM, through its digital and social media presences, including its Facebook account, Twitter account, and its redesigned website, where people could upload their reports through the website's submit page or through using the hashtag hashtag BMPM Teona. BMPM also comes as a feature in two mobile apps, abs-cbnews.com S and C-O-M-E-L-E-C's, which are present in iOS, Android, and Windows. The network's two main competitors, GMA and TV5 also have their own citizen journalism campaigns named Uscoop and News5 Everywhere, respectively. See also AB CBN AB CBN News Channel S plus A DZMM Radio Patrol 630 kHz AM List of programs broadcast by AB CBN List of programs broadcast by AB CBN Sports and Action List of programs shown on the AB CBN News Channel External links ABS-CBN Official Website ABS-CBN News and Current Affairs Official Website ABS-CBN News Channel Official Website DZMM Official Website